Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is issue 167 of Mini Truck and Magazine, November 2005. We must start off and say rest in peace, Jen Lacey, a.k.a. Jennifer Lacey. Uh, this was her truck, Chicks Ride. That's C-H-X Ride. We'll talk about it. This truck was built by Jimmy Graham and Shane Schlack at Scraping Customs. That was before Jimmy would eventually branch off down the road to form Jimmy's Ride and Customs. This is the first uh, one of one for Vivid Reality. It's the fifth of five total mini truck and magazine covers shot by the great Joe Greaves. I think this is his best. It's the 12th cover with Boyd Wheels. This truck also is the 40th S10 or 40th Chevy to grace the cover for the most part S10, right? Uh, the truck would go on to win Mini Truck of the Year. And again, I must say, rest in peace, Jennifer Lacey. Now, this issue is signed by Jimmy and Shane. Just as a nice gesture favor, they did that for me just because, you know, I'm friends with Jimmy and Shane, and that was cool that they did this. Uh, this um, is the Chick Special, which is awesome. It ties into the name of this truck. It's a collector issue, and check that out. We are there, folks. Not breaking news, but issue 167 is the first all-color issue. Now, um, I have, man, a lot to talk about with this issue, and I think we just need to jump right into it. If you like what we're doing here, please leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji thumbs up. And watch till the end if you can. That really helps the channel grow when the algorithm sees that the videos are streamed to the end. I really appreciate it. Now, uh, Jen Lacey, she uh, uh, was the girlfriend, significant other of Jimmy for a very long time. And again, she did pass away from health-related issues in the past, or challenges rather. Uh, here we see this month's Chick Special. Feature goes to the finest first gen ever built. Just so happens that Jen Lacey, the owner, is one cool mini truck and chick as well. Of course, Joe Greaves gets the credit. We'll see that photo uh, again. Now, we also uh, see a couple of other trucks. This is the IF Customs Sonoma S10. Uh, loved that truck, and that truck, I uh, got a chance to see it a couple times at Showfest and at the Mini Truck Hall of Fame. And then you have Heather, which is uh, Joey's better half, LOL Joey. Uh, that amazing Tacoma with a lot of history. We see some good show coverage there. And... A lot going on with this issue. Again, I think it's awesome that uh, not only is it, you know, kind of towards the end of 2005, um, it's also pretty cool that it's all color. The best issue of MT ever. And again, you can see pretty cool. Uh, there is the issue. And then you have this famous S10, which was owned by Phil slash Phil's girl. I think Phil from I Have Customs. Uh, which I think the tag was Phil D's on it. That's how I always remember it. Love that truck. Uh, KRZ Customs. This Again, this is the era that KRZ is really ramping up. Um, obviously, I have Customs and, and KRZ. I think they really push the limit with uh, the stock four body drops. They don't get enough credit, especially shout out to Kerry Iacino from IF Customs. Here's Testosterone Slayer. Chrome is a girl's best friend. This is Amanda Powell, 91 Chevy Blaza from Indiana. Now, it is worth noting, too, that that truck, uh, Halfway Havoc, or excuse me, that truck show there, you see 10,525. Many truckers roll to Havoc 05, Louisville. That was that show, if I remember correctly, where they had all the cover trucks lined up. Jen's was there as well, uh, which was a pretty cool event. I never made it to that one. Anybody that did, feel free to chime in and let me know what you think of that uh, that show back in the day. Got a French antenna right there. Trying to keep these a little, you know, streamlined, kind of moving ahead. But obviously this one, there's a lot to talk about. Plasma Cutting 101. So you got Mike Alexander with a tech article. Of course, Mike is now the editor, as I mentioned, if you've been watching these. If not, please... Uh, roll to the next video. If if you got time, if you're driving, let these stream to the next episode. Everything you stream here helps the channel. Toyo Tire Spring Cal Truck Jam 05. 
ironically, I was just, <clears throat> excuse me, talking with uh, Ruben the other day, and we were talking about the, the long run of Cal Truck Jam. Uh, of course, it eventually branches off from the regular Truck Jam in August to the spring Cal Truck Jam. And it seemed like about mid-2000s is when it made it to, of course, this is 05. You can see the IF Customs truck there, that amazing S10 Sonoma, which technically was, I think, again, owned by a female, which was, I think, Phil's significant other. So shout out if Phil happens to see this. Uh, Phil, I appreciate you chiming in the other day on a Facebook post that we made. You shared a, a photo of uh, DTE, I think it was, down to earth. So here you go. This is Kim, so that's what I got to remember. Kim 1, Phil 0. This had a cool story to it. And you'll see this as well with Chick's Ride. I mean, the art department and probably with Chad Lucas, uh, who writes this. Shout out to Chad, the big homie. I was texting him recently. And um, with Mike, you know, they're, they're pushing the limits a little bit. Again, this might have been kind of already in flight in terms of the uh, art department. But just a cool feature, something a little bit different. You know, that rear three-quarter shot. Uh, different angle. You've got the huge IF there for I Iacino, uh, Kerry Iacino, which was Iacino Fabrications. Uh, here is, again, it was Kimberly Baines, uh, 2000 Chevy Blazer. Or, excuse me. This is where this one throws me off. It's an extreme. So it's an S10 extreme. I think it started technically as. And then you could see Kimberly there on the bow tie. I saw this truck last again in Las Vegas at the Mini Truck Hall of Fame ceremony several years back. I can't remember if it was 2016 or 2018, but I took photos of it. And uh, it looked to me about in the same condition, which was just awesome. I always thought, you know, what an awesome preserved truck and, you know, well taken care of. Uh, the feature is not over. And if I remember correctly, I want to say it also ran in Sport Truck. Uh, something a little bit different about this truck is, you know, the stereo to me, you know, the boxes are cool, but this was, you know, totally different um, with just an, a different setup inside of the bed was sick. You could see the gas filler there. You've got the hidden trap door deal to gain access as needed. There's the IF, ISCNO Fabrication Co. established in 99. There's, uh, I know Carrie still could be killing stuff, but, uh, you know, as far as fabrication, but, you know, he kind of moved on to a different career. We've had them on the podcast as well. Here is Chick's Ride. This was the center uh, centerfold. And you can see the SNC. That does stand for, the, for those that don't know, it's Scrape-N-Customs. Scrape and Customs. Uh, hard lines are still there. This did light up. I believe it probably still does. Thad now owns this truck. He bought it from Fester, which if I remember correctly, I think Fester bought it from Jen uh, when she sold it. Uh, you can see the name of it is CHIX um, Ride. Uh, that ties into the tag, which is CHX Ride. And uh, we have hashtag CHX Ride. Uh, we hashtag Jennifer, uh, RIP Jennifer Lacey, L A C Y, and RIP Jen with one N, Lacey, uh, for to kind of curate those posts together. Uh, anything related to that truck, even with the posts um, related to Thad owning it. I got a chance to ride in that truck at uh, the Kentucky show, Cruising with Cruisers, last year. And, of course, Thad brought it all the way down from Pennsylvania this year and recently parked it next to Bada Bing, which Jimmy built. Uh, Shane helped as well. And uh, long live Jennifer Lacey. You can see her right here. Gentlemen, you got served, and ain't that right? If I remember correctly, Jimmy mentioned that Joe spent a whole day, it might have been eight-plus hours, doing this photo shoot using a ladder, using just, you know, a ton of different angles and shots, and it was really cool. I'm going to show you something here, too, in case you've never seen this. This is a photo that was in the House of Color at, or um, booklet for that year. I don't know if it was 2005. It might have been two, or probably 2006, because if you, if you take a look here, she has the same outfit, and this was shot the same day, so I think Joe supplied her the photos or whatever, and they submitted this to House of Color. I wish I would have not cut this out. Uh, years ago, I did. I used to get all these different uh, catalogs, if you will. Uh, you can see their painter, Todd Fisher, and uh, Volusia County Customs. Uh, Todd Fisher, famous painter. But um, Jennifer, you know, again, passed away, unfortunately, due to health-related challenges. 
and uh, her truck lives on, her legacy lives on. She is the, in the Mini Truck Hall of Fame, one of the memorial recipients. Here's the photo I said you were gonna see again. This was kind of a little bit different layout. So you had just a quick lead in to the interview and there really wasn't a source box, I don't recall. Um, you could see this epic paint job. This truck was at Eastbound Get Down this year. Again, parked next to Bada Bing, which Jimmy built. Uh, Shane helped in the early days as well. Very cool front three quarter shot, kind of looking down, probably from a ladder. And you can see here how they baked in the rear tailgate. You've got Chicks Ride. The taillights also lit up. They still do, I believe, uh, through the tail uh, tailgate. And you can see CHX Ride, which ties into the name of this truck and the name of the feature. You can see it just an extensive uh, photo shoot. Just a really good job by Joe. I do believe Joe is going to be retiring soon. Uh, some intel that I have. You can see here the chassis. This is one of the trucks that Jimmy and them built where the chassis is the tank. So there's a couple that come to mind that they did like that. It's got the Colorado Custom steering wheel and, of course, Boyd Connington wheels, as I mentioned at the beginning. Just an awesome truck. Uh, the year 2012, when I debuted my S10 at Showfest, Jimmy drove this truck, believe it or not, all the way from the Daytona area um, all the way up to uh, Showfest. He charged the AC and got in it and drove it all the way there, which was awesome. You can see that the frame is all done. Again, it is a tank um, up to a certain point, I would say. Uh, how they how Jimmy would do that. I don't think they really do that very much anymore, but just a super cool mod, if you will. But rest in peace, Jennifer Lacey. The other photo I want to show you, um, I have some, I have a good amount in my in my collection, but this is Pat Maxwell. For those that did not know, Pat did the rendering. Jimmy shared this a long time ago with me. And uh, very, very cool. This truck was a different color and it was laid out. Um, probably do a future video on it. I would say uh, that relates to the history of uh, of the truck, you know, and how it went from the first version to, you know, that, that second version that we see here. Uh, this is Halfway Havoc. I think this show went on a couple of times, and um, they had a special section related to mini truck and history with the cover trucks. This is uh, Sean Carlson's forerunner. Rest in peace to Sean. Uh, this is after, of course, it came to the East Coast. We got to see it, um, you know, a lot of people did before its tragic ending where I believe it, uh, if I remember correctly, it fell off a trailer in transit and the thing was totaled. Someone has the rear doors, I think, hanging on their wall now. This truck was recently uh, sold. This one has passed around a good bit, but it's a super nice truck. It was on the cover of Tailgate and uh, Tom Jenkins now owns it. see here i know there's a lot to talk about here you guys are probably going man why are you yapping so much love looking through these issues uh because i'll be honest i haven't looked through this one probably in almost 20 years uh i flipped through the when jimmy and them had signed it but uh it was it was a quick flip through uh heather elskin e e l s k e n which i think is real muto now uh, this is, again, the truck that was black. Um, I did a quick reel on this one the other day from the sport truck feature. Uh, Joey's a good friend of mine, and I uh, always kept in contact with him. This was in the era when people, uh, there's still some that run nitrogen, but you can see the dual bottle bracket setup. Extensive kind of had the uh, the trademark, if you will. They were kind of like the main go-to people for those bottle brackets but this truck uh when joey and heather were on they talked a lot about crew cut she won crew cut but oh by the way she had this uh tacoma and she talks about why it got redone from black to this blue now don't get me wrong this thing was super clean i am a fan of it in black although i'm a huge blue fan uh i don't know i just love this truck in black but if you just look at how clean it was uh, Joey and Heather, they both, anything that they ever kind of put their stamp of approval on or owned was always, always super clean, even the stuff they have today. Havoc 2005, more than just a show and shine. So you can see here a bunch of covered trucks. So you had Desert Dragger all the way out. Lenny Groover, possibly maybe the last sighting. I, I'd have to look back at show coverage to see uh, this truck, of course. Uh, was featured in street trucks and on the cover of mini trucking same here 
So it was a cool concept for a show. I want to say it went a few years before um, it, you know, seemed to cease. Some of you guys can maybe chime in with a little bit more history on that show. You probably know more than I do on that. Slam Session Super Show 2005. Getting a little crazy. Mini trucks and models. A very cool issue. This is in the era, again, uh, Mike Alexander starts his his reign as the editor. And, of course, Chad Lucas, his brother, They he's on board as the um, as staff. Here you have Christina Chris Ash, 88 S10 from Fresno. Super clean square body. And then over here you have Jonathan Minton, 98 Ford Ranger. So although it was a chick's issue... Uh, they they weren't able to keep every feature in here, so Jonathan was able to to sneak in with uh, with a with a guy ride, if you will. Uh, but again, if you if you've been uh, take you know pay, paying attention, uh, this issue is all color. Even these pages that are primarily black and white, you can see all the color accents, which is pretty cool. Now the other thing that I want to share with you, I should have mentioned this at the beginning but I'll share it in just a moment with you related to this uh, cover truck. We can see here some craziness going on. There's an old school mini trucking hat. I, I, I'll top my head, I do not know who that is. Plain Jane Mazda. And a mini trucking tattoo. More ads. Uh, this... This is not what I was going to refer to you a moment ago, but I'll tell you in just a minute. This was Ron Perkins' irregular cab. Uh, if you've ever watched our YouTube channel, which you're watching now, there's an ODB's corner where I interview Ron Perkins, and he talks about this truck. Uh, I'm going to talk about this in the future. There is an Easter egg in this ad. Let's see if anybody knows what it is. And I'll share in the future how long that Easter egg is in this ad until it is corrected. So I'm going to leave you guys with a little cliffhanger there. Okay, so again, this is issue 167, November 2005. For those that do not know, uh, this truck also appeared in street trucks the same month. So 2005, November, it did appear in street trucks. And I was going to see if I have it. I do. I had to flip over there with my other hand. So here was Pretty in Pink, and this was by Christina McCa uh, McCanleys, I believe is how you say it. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around there. But uh, this was a super cool feature, and it was awesome that even though in the magazine industry, and I think Joseph Dowling did the photos, even in the magazine industry, typically they'll say, oh, you already got shot, we're not going to run it, blah, blah, blah. Th to me, this was a cool feature because it was a little bit different. It's on the asphalt. It's laid out. It, you know, it's a totally different look. You know, to me, someone isn't going to say, oh, I'm not going to buy this issue because it's in, you know, it's on the cover already. It's like we would have ran out and bought more issues of that. And that's pretty much what happened. So anyways, trying to keep this under 20 minutes. Thank you for streaming till the end. Uh, one of my personal favorite issues of all time. Rest in peace, Jennifer Lacey. And uh, she was a great person to always talk with. So many great memories of just, I know her just hanging out in the camp at some of the shows that I was at, that I got to sit there and talk with her. We talked a lot about JFK. We talked a lot about uh, Lincoln's and um, had great memories talking with her. And my dad did as well. So rest in peace, a true legend in our mini truck scene, Jennifer Lacey. And great job, Joe Greaves. We out of here, y'all. Peace.